Hi, my name is Aisha Mubarak Kali and I am a visual artist uh, working in digital mediums and I am also working as a fashion designer and I am from Pakistan uh, working in Karachi. I graduated from Indus Valley School of Art and Architecture and I did my majors in New Media Arts and uh, Painting. So after graduation I have been into projects that talk about women empowerment, light pollution, gender equality and also awareness about dark skies uh, on mental health to name a few. And why do I work on all of these causes? Because uh, I've been working on a lot of interdisciplinary projects and by that I mean that uh, we are working on more than one cause and we usually study the kind of emotional trends, the kind of online scrutiny that, that is happening and using that data and using data collection as our lens, we design projects which talk about not, not only just uh, societal, local context issues like um, women empowerment and gender equality but also like how we can uh, constitute these projects into our um, mainstream media can be applied into uh, different uh, communication fields as well. So when I talk about this topic, uh, one of the projects that I've recently done is Dark Skies Days Back in which uh, we have successfully uh, translated the, the entire realm of uh, light pollution and why it is important. So when I talk about light pollution, especially in my city, Karachi, where I'm from, um, there is no infrastructure that talks about what is good light and what is bad, what is more harmful, and whether if the light is up to our uh, body's optimum uh, you know, temperature, if it's uh, regulating the right kind of energies in us. Because uh, mostly the light pollution, what it does is that it uh, it causes depression, it causes metabolic uh, wrong act. So it's it is having a lot of negative effects. It also affects your sleep cycle. It affects the environmental issues. It, it affects the sea life uh, very badly. So by that I mean not just the in, uh, the indoor lighting, like the indoor lighting and its illuminosity that is important, but also the lighting which is outdoor, the street lights and other lights. So when we do projects like this, the pro the purpose is to to talk about firstly the effects of light for a general population or people who don't understand what this project is all about. We discuss uh, dark sky awareness campaigns and we have been reaching out to different organizations like International Association of uh, Astronomical Arts, International Dark Sky uh, Union uh, and these are the communities where people you find people from uh, NASA, you find people from uh, space agencies and they are the people who not only work on concept art but also on the fusion or the interdisciplinary uh, element of it. So this kind of project has been uh, so far very success been very successful because we not only just did the digital art series but we also did uh, the actual metal construction which was done in response of the, this idea. So at the same time we are talking about light pollution, we are again talking about uh, online scrutiny and how that affects uh, the mental health. And uh, especially about the mental health part, which has been so much more after COVID, uh, we have been uh, especially focusing on women uh, as a model because women are, you know, usually the ones who are at home. They are not allowed to go out in the dark skies, right? So we, uh, so we thought that it was important that I use women as my role model. And for this project, um, I also started my own startup, Cosmic Tribe, and through that. Uh, that platform we have been uh, connecting with other space artists, cosmic artists and just anyone who is just interested in using uh, you know, cosmic energies and talking about how important it is to connect with the dark skies and at the same time being sustainable about the fashion. So all of these ideas I think go hand in hand and it's so important to talk about that. Another project that I've done is uh, Project Sentiment that was part of my uh, Be Fantastic Tech Art Fellowship and through that I got an opportunity to represent Pakistan. In fact, I was the only artist from Pakistan representing globally and I collaborated with a um, London based artist who is also a data collector and another artist. So together what we worked on was uh, this emotional cue study uh, based on robotics and how robots and fashion can be combined to create a code uh, with which people can interact with uh, on camera and that code and using that you know fashion and entire attention grabbing thing that we made people can see uh, how happy they are like they can see the tendency to which they are uh, their own emotions right so this is one of the project which I think successfully does incorporate artificial intelligence with, with sustainable fashion but then also the emerging field of robotics. 
So if I talk about the Dark Sky series and the digital art that I did, it is one of the examples of the way we can combine uh, 3D modeling, fusion arts with also the technical construction that we have. So this kind of project I think it was very important because we not only combine the craftsmanship of uh, our local culture, our traditions, the kind of methodologies which are available to us but then also taking them one notch higher by using them uh, in a very uh, technologically advanced way. We are incorporating artificial intelligence, machine learning and data collection to improve on our statistics and the kind of topics that we are, we are interested to talk about through Cosmic Tribe and another of my startup which is Oshi Brownie. So through that we are trying to do that and it combines the, the visual vocabulary of fashion but we have these causes attached to it. So uh, at the end of the day, we are not limited by just the digital medium or we are not just limited by uh, the kind of offers or the kind of uh, things which, which can be achieved uh, through the technical construction. We can fuse both of the things and we can create new information, new kind of art that can be available. This kind of art is very important because this kind of art, uh, if I talk internationally, so the non-fungible to token is a new term which is for the artist and the non-fungible tokens, um, uh, it also talks about like the non- As a digital artist, it's also important to see where the trends are heading and now because internationally everybody is talking about non-fungible token which is a new way for an artist to uh, store their ideas and its credibility, its originality on a blockchain and I think it's a wonderful idea and although in Pakistan no one is talking about it, no one uh, has this awareness that you know this is a trend and they can make uh, another you know uh, streamline another um, another way to make money basically as an artist and as a way to survive as an artist so I think it's an amazing uh, opportunity for anyone who wants to you know take their digital art on different platforms and for different art collectors who are out there and especially the term NFT collectors because there are people who just collect the NFTs and they like uh, collecting the artists and its editions but then it doesn't stop there I think NFT is very interesting for me personally as an artist because I am uh, an artist who works in uh, you know, medium of artificial intelligence and coding. So my digital art is not just a visual. It is always having its um, its thread or its uh, basic source of information is always the uh, data collected for, for the issue, right? So for me, it's important for to uh, use the this platform which is readily available. And I think NFT. I have now become an NFT artist as well, and I, uh, it's my message for other Pakistanis to anyone who wants, who is interested in digital art to kind of approach this topic. I think this is the future and this is where we can combine uh, the artificial intelligence, the technology, uh, the application art uh, with the digital art.